Welcome to the Iron Science Center's anechoic chamber. We're about to make some serious noise in the quietest room on campus. Standing on the wire net of the CPMS anechoic chamber feels like walking into a sci-fi movie. The room is completely lined with fiberglass spikes to absorb sound waves. In this echoless environment, students have studied the properties of sounds as quiet as a spy plane and as loud as a giant gong. Today, things will get quite a bit louder as we assist Dr. Gee's research team in measuring the noise levels of a hydrogen balloon explosion. Hi, my name is Michael Mielstein. Hey Michael, I'm Katie from Hands On. Hey, this is Julia Vernon. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey Julia, good to meet you too. So what can we do to help you get started for the experiment today? Well, we have these microphones that need to be set up. Okay, is that something I can help you with? Yep. Awesome. All right, so. This one for me. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting together these microphones. Mm -hmm. We have this preamp, then we're gonna connect it with this adapter. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're gonna hook it onto one of these wires and then we're going to actually connect the actual microphone. Okay. So do I take You're gonna take part? the preamp first. Okay. Take off the cap, and then we're going to put on the adapter. Okay, is that right? Did Looks it, great. Did it lose any parts? Let's okay. go put it on. Hey, why don't you guys come over and help us? All right. All right, so what we're gonna to need to do is hook these onto the wire. After taking precise measurements, we lined up the preamps on the wire, preparing them for the forthcoming ball of fire. So Julia, this is the microphone that we're putting on now, right? Yep. Wow, that's really, really tiny. Could you tell me what you love about acoustics? Yeah, I really like acoustics because it's so applicable to the world around us. Um, you, right now we're dealing with hearing risk. Um, you can also learn about fan noise in computers to keep them quieter, as well as jet noise. Um, it's just a very hands-on approach to physics. Yeah, it sounds like those are things that really affect us directly, which is neat. So what sets the BYU Acoustics program apart? Well, we have excellent facilities. You can see our anechoic chamber right here. We also have fantastic faculty here, and they're really great helping us learn how to do this research. <laughs> so are we all ready to blow up some balloons? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Thanks to some collaboration with the chemistry department, we acquired the perfect balloons for our experiment. Instead of your typical helium birthday balloons, we filled ours with highly flammable gas. So with earplugs in place, we braced ourselves for the approaching acoustical explosion. Three, two, one, blow. Three, two, one, blow. Dr. Gee and his research team discovered that this common classroom demonstration is just as loud as a shotgun blast. Beyond the walls of the anechoic chamber, though, sound is always happening. It's everywhere around us. And for students majoring in acoustics, a great variety of employment options await them after graduation. Many students go into architectural acoustics or noise control, specializing in creating ear-friendly environments. However, from medical imaging to submarine navigation, students can find a job to suit any interest. Hands-On is a production of the College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences at Brigham Young University. To get your hands on more information, visit cpms.byu.edu.